in a recent Fox Saturday Baseball Game of the Week between the Yankees and the Red Sox, you may have heard the announcers reference the fact that Matt Carpenter on the New York Yankees has an interesting pregame ritual called grounding. Grounding, also called earthing, is a therapeutic technique that involves doing activities that are believed by the practitioner to ground or electrically reconnect you to the earth. In Matt Carpenter's case, this involves walking barefoot on the grass. So what does science say about grounding? According to the website Healthline.com, there are very few scientific studies on the benefits. However, the most recent scientific research has explored grounding for inflammation, cardiovascular disease, muscle damage, chronic pain, and overall mood. The central theory from one review study is that grounding affects the, quote, living matrix, which is the central connector between living cells. Electrical conductivity exists within the matrix that functions as an immune system defense, similar to antioxidants. They believe that through grounding, the natural defenses of the body can be restored. Further research expands on this idea. In a small study on grounding and heart health, 10 healthy participants were grounded using patches on the palms of their hands and soles of their feet. Blood measurements were taken before and after grounding to determine any changes in red blood cell fluidity, which plays a role in heart health. The results indicated significantly less red blood cell clumping after grounding, which suggests benefits for cardiovascular health. Another slightly larger study examined the role of grounding on post-exercise muscle damage. Researchers used both grounding patches and mats, and the study seemed to indicate that grounding reduced muscle damage and pain in participants of the study. Bottom line, apparently it makes him feel better. But you know what else makes you feel better? Hitting jacks every day. Now look, we don't know what's going on. We don't know what energies are out there affecting the world. But does it work for baseball? Well, Matt Carpenter has been playing very, very well. He's got 13 home runs in 31 games with the Yankees at this point. But the fact that he also mechanically revamped his swing and that he plays in a great ballpark for left-handed hitters and plays in a great lineup with lots of good hitters protecting him probably has something to do with it as well. But never underestimate the power of an athlete's belief that something they're doing could be positively affecting their play. To quote the immortal Crash Davis from the movie Bull Durham, if you believe you're playing well because you're getting laid or because you're not getting laid or because you wear women's underwear, then you are. So the moral of the story is, if Matt Carpenter believes it's working, it probably is, and he should keep doing it.